Hey guys, we're going to go over real quickly the curvatures of the body. We've got some normal curvatures up here, which we're going to talk about first, and then we've got some common names for what we call abnormal curvatures, okay? So real quick, uh, on the normal curvatures, we have two curvatures that we're actually born with. So when a baby comes out of the womb, there are actually two curvatures that the baby already has within its spine, okay? Two spinal curvatures. Notice, again, I wrote it here that they're present from birth or at birth, okay? The first spinal curvature is the thoracic spine or thoracic spinal curvature, okay? So that curvature, of course, is just going to be a, a uh, smooth kyphotic type curve um, in the thoracic region um, there, you know, because the baby's going to basically be in the fetal position or want to be in the fetal position after birth basically the whole time, right? So there's going to be a thoracic curve and there's going to be a pelvic curve. So the bottom line is this, the curvature of the baby's spine at birth is basically just a nice smooth C-shaped curve because they're tucked in this fetal type position, okay? Now, what are the two curves that then develop after birth, okay? These are the two here that are going to develop after birth. We've got the cervical and the lumbar curves. Now the question is, how do they develop? The cervical curve is going to develop with crawling, okay? As the baby starts to crawl, slightly different, you know, with different children as far as what, you know, time frame that's going to happen. But as the baby starts to crawl, of course, the baby is on its hands and its knees, so it's got to hold its head up. That develops the cervical curve, okay? Which you'll notice this curve is opposite direction, if you think about it, of the thoracic and pelvic. Then as the baby starts to walk, it will develop the lumbar curve, okay? Baby's gonna come stand up on its legs. That is gonna develop a curvature down here due to weight bearing. Again, the cervical curve and lumbar curve are both the same directions, right? And opposite again, the thoracic and pelvic. So in order, once the baby is walking, they will have a cervical curve first, then a thoracic, then a lumbar, then a pelvic. So it goes in that order, which of course gives us an S curve. Of course, it doesn't look like that, but you get the picture, right? Now, what about the abnormal curves really, really quickly? Scoliosis is considered an abnormal lateral curvature. So if you look at somebody, you know, anterior to posterior, or look at them posterior to anterior, when you look at somebody, they will have an abnormal lateral curve. And again, theoretically, it could be cervical, thoracic, or lumbar, where you see that take place, but it's an abnormal lateral curve. Kyphosis is typically an abnormal or increased thoracic curve, right? So the thoracic curve is increased. And then lordosis is an increased lumbar curve, okay? Uh, many of these, particularly these two, can be from, you know, poor posture, you know, kyphosis can be from, uh, and, every, and a lot of people do have a kyphosis of some degree because of increased tension in the pec muscles and things like that. Lordosis can also be from pregnancy or obesity, right? Stomach kind of moves forward a little bit. That pulls the lumbar spine with it. So these can be, you know, these can develop and to some degree all three can be uh, 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 somewhat corrected, uh, you know, through different things, exercise, weight loss, you know, depending on the, the particular problem. Of course, many are familiar with kyphosis due to osteoporosis as the vertebral bodies collapse and compress due to weakness. That causes a kyphotic deformity. Obviously, this is seen typically in elderly, particularly women. Uh, that's not really a correctable problem. The, there are some procedures where you can go in and strengthen the weak vertebrae, but it's not going to correct the postural imbalance. So just keep that in mind. But there's our normal curves. Here's our abnormal. I hope that helps. Till next time, see you later.